this Nazi stuff, it's like it started off as one little itchy spot in Ohio, but now it's clear it's not a bug bite, it's a rash. And it's oozing and spreading all over. It's disgusting. But it, it really doesn't help to pretend that you can't see it, Ohio. And it's not like it's hard to follow the plot here about what these guys are doing. In each of these instances, these Nazi groups are turning out in Ohio um, and the, the purported motive behind the attempted arson at the Ohio church, it's all for the same reason, to harass and intimidate trans people and queer people. This thing this weekend with the guys in the red pajama suits and the swastika flag and the guy dressed up like heat miser, that was outside a drag brunch that was being held at a local Columbus, Ohio business. Uh, a drag brunch that was to benefit a nonprofit called Kaleidoscope Youth Center. The Nazis showed up outside that this weekend. When it was the Wadsworth, Ohio Nazi show of force a few weeks ago, that was also outside a drag performance. Also, the church arson just outside Cleveland that was targeting a church holding family-friendly drag events. See, it's all one idea because the Nazis in America are Nazis in America these days. They have their cause. And they're doing this stuff in part for the same reason they're doing it in Florida all the time now and in other states. First, it's to try to intimidate and freak people out, but it's also to try to desensitize us to swastikas and Nazi imagery of all kinds and the presence of Nazis on our street corners and at our public protests. It's, it's so we expect it, I guess, so we're maybe not so shocked by it as much as we might otherwise be. If you're not down with that, though, if you are not excited by the little Nazis blooming like stinkweed everywhere these days. It might give you some pause, right? If you realize that the reason that these Nazis keep turning out, the reason these Nazis are out there in the streets and on the street corners and in these public parks, the reason they keep doing this stuff is that they're cheering on what you've been doing in your day job. That might give you pause, right? If you started to notice what all these Nazis were doing and realized that what they were doing was pulling for your side. In Ohio, for example, it might give you pause if you were an Ohio Republican and you've been working on legislation to attack queer people and trans people. While at the same time, repeatedly, you know, these guys are the crowds who are turning out to bolster that message, to make sure that the harassment and intimidation of queer and trans people has not just the imprimatur of state law, but also a Nazi flair. Right? You might think that would give you pause in Ohio to realize who is aligning themselves with your cause. It is not giving Ohio Republicans pause, apparently. Just in the last few days, they have been happy to hold new hearings on their proposed legislation to make the street Nazis very happy by further targeting trans people in Ohio.